Javon, how would you describe that team meeting when Freeze and Coach Freeze let you guys know he was, he was resigning? I mean, it was shocking, but you know, next morning we reverted back to ourselves. We reverted back to training, got our brotherhood together, and came out there had a great workout, and we're on a mission. You've obviously been around Coach Luke every day uh, since you've been here. What do you kind of a head coach do you think he will be? He's a very great head coach, man. He's very passionate. He's always going to give his whole. Uh, he loses his voice almost every practice for us, so I know he'll give it all for the team. And I'm excited about him being the Ole Miss Rebel head coach, and things are going to go great in a great direction. It, it seems just from the outside looking in that you guys, it has to be tough, just the bad news, the bad news, the bad news. Is it, mm -hmm. is it like that inside the team, or is it – not that bad, or has oh, it been it's, tough to do? It's with? not bad at all, man. We keep getting hit with stones. We're going to keep getting up. I mean, like one of our players said, uh, we're, somebody's going to have to feel this frustration, and we're going to go out there, play 12 games, and get after it. Javon, what's your thoughts about, you know, y'all will be working with a different offensive line coach, mm -hmm. but you're veteran, so you feel like you can ha handle that transition? Yeah, like I said before, with, with our offensive line guys, man, we're, we're jailed together. You know, we all got a lot of vets on there, and, you know, anything that be thrown at us, so we're going to get after it, and we're going to handle it. What are you going to hope for in a new offensive line coach since you guys are going to bring somebody new in? I mean, just somebody that that give us their all. I mean, it's an offensive line coach, and, I mean, you know, you got to be with it. I mean, we're the, we're the big uglies. We're ready to get after it, and, you know, we're the heart of the uh, offense. Javon, have other players been asking you about Coach Luke, you know, asking for advice just about how, like – No, nah, I mean, Coach Luke's been around here for a while. I think this is his 15th season as a head coach and player – I mean, as a as a coach and a player, you know, him being around, I mean, you, you feel his passion, you feel his presence around there. Are you worried about any – was there any talk about any of the young guys – transferring or anything like that? Did you guys have like a players only meeting and then try to talk to people? I mean, how did you kind of address just kind of the immediate aftermath when I'm sure especially some of the young players were wondering about their futures? I mean, we all looked at it the next morning. We had a 6.30 workout. I mean, we had to get back to work. I mean, things, things happen in this world. You know, uh, we still got to keep things rolling. We still have fo uh, football games to play. You know, those young guys, they came to us and was like, hey, we're still here. I mean, everybody was still here that morning. and. We looked and we smashed the workout. I mean, the great energy and great vibes that come from things like that, you can tell what a team is about. And the culture around here is, is becoming great. Are you questions for Javon? Anything up top? Javon, just based on everything that's happened over the course of the last year or so, is there anything this team can't handle? Uh, Nothing we really can't handle, man. Like I said, we keep getting stones thrown at us, and we're going to keep getting up and fighting.